Sveiki su jumis sveikinos aš dalia ir mokyklinių prisiminimų laida Back to School. Šiandien kalbinsime Žalgirieti Deona Thompsono, kuris papasako savo laikus iš mokyklinio suolo. Ok, so let's talk about school days. What's the funniest thing that you remember from your high school days? Funniest thing from my high school days? Uh, it was a long time ago, so it's hard to something to instantly to come to mind. But um, I used to always be late to school. So like in the mornings, I'm not a very like a morning person. So always getting up, trying to get ready for school. I always remember just eating breakfast in the car on my way to school. Yeah. So I can get to school on time and have my breakfast at the same time. So I always just remember just eating breakfast on my way to school, in the car. So you like to sleep a lot? I'm a sleeper, yeah. So what about morning practice? Is it too hard to wake up? Um, at times, yeah. I think that's the hardest part, is getting out to bed. Once you get to the gym, get to the arena, and get some coffee in you, then practice is pretty, pretty chill. But it's always the hardest part is getting out of bed. So out of two subjects, which one do you prefer more? Um, physics or biology? Uh, <laughs> neither one, but <laughs> if I had to choose, I would go with biology. History or geography? History. Why? Because uh, I think the history is so, like, uh, you can learn a lot from history. So, I mean, you can always learn from the past. And being from America, we have such a, a young history. But when you come to Europe, there's so much, like, deep history. And I, I kind of find it really fascinating to, to learn about these kind of things. Do you know something about Lithuania history? Um, I know a, a little bit about it, yeah. I mean, I, I've done my, my touring around Lithuania. Um, here in Connors, went to the Ninth Fort. and. Um, KGB Museum in Vilnius and, and kind of learn about these things. Okay, so art or music? Music. So you're a good singer? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a good singer, <laughs> but I think I'm a good dancer, so I, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I think music is, is pretty cool. Math or foreign language? Math, but they're kind of the same because yeah. like math can get kind of hard and foreign language is pretty difficult. So, so are you good at counting or not? I would think so, yeah. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, okay, good. you know how to spend your money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say you have an offer to become a teacher. Mm. Uh, which subject you would choose to you would choose to teach and why? Um, hmm. I think again history. I just think because I think it's important even for young kids to like learn about the past, um, just because so much information and things you can really learn from of things not to do, how not to treat people. And so I think history is pretty cool. Okay, so what's the most interesting story from American history? American history, most interesting story. <laughs> um, obviously, I think the first one comes to mind is Martin Luther King. I mean, obviously, all the work he did in like the civil rights movement and um, trying to get equal rights for, for African Americans, I think that's obviously um, a big learning curve and something that he really um, really preach about treating everyone equal. I think that's uh, something that we can learn, just not even from a, a race standpoint, just from a human standpoint of how to treat people. So I think that's pretty cool. And did you play any other sport than basketball? Um, early on, I played uh, American baseball. Um, I was actually pretty good. My mom still to this day thinks that I would be a better baseball player than basketball. So why did you quit? Um, I kind of just fell in love in ba with basketball. I mean, as I got older, I kind of just found a, a passion uh, for basketball and I just kind of want to focus on one, one sport and, and become the best at it I can be. When you are a basketball player, player in Lithuania, you have a lot of girls' attention. <laughs> Was it the same in America? Um, I think in the university it kind of gets like that. Um, high school, uh, it's a little bit, but uh, university that kind of comes and the bigger stage that you come on, it kind of happens. If you could come back to school again, would you, what would you do differently? Would you like to come back? Um, definitely. Uh, um, in my university, I would probably pick a different major. I studied sociology, which was which is a cool major. I mean, you learn about different demographics of people's backgrounds. Um, if I could do it over again, I'll probably do communications. Think about what I want to do post basketball. Um, high school, I definitely would have paid attention a lot more. <laughs> and um, but I still did well. But I, it was, of course, there's some things I would do differently. Was it hard to focus on both basketball and school? What was your priority? Um, I learned early on that school needed to be important because unfortunately when I was a freshman in high school I was ineligible so like in America you have to keep a 2.0 grade point average to play a sport and um, early on in my freshman year of high school when basketball season came around I didn't have these, these grades to do that 
So I actually learned early on that ba that school is just as important as basketball. So when the word, when they say student athlete in America, you're a student before athlete. So I learned that all, uh, pretty early. And then once I got my grades under control, then basketball became a priority. And what's the most important thing that you learned in school? Most important thing <laughs> I learned in school. Um, I mean, just working hard, I think. Obviously, I, like I said early on, like not being able to play a sport that I love because of my grades. So it, I learned to prioritize like what's important and, and to work hard at it. Okay, thank you very much. Easy. Ačiū, kad žiūrėjote ir iki pasimatymo Žalgirio arenoje.